The protocol analyzers in Proteus can not only be used to monitor traffic, but they can also be used as a master or slave device on an I2C or SPI bus. In this demo, we'll show you how to use the I2C protocol analyzer as a master device. The design is a simple test case with an I2C protocol analyzer acting as a master and a PIC24 processor acting as the I2C slave device. Data that we write from the protocol analyzer will be read by the PIC24 and then be displayed on the two 7 segment LED displays. We can also use the I2C protocol analyzer in master mode to request information from the PIC24 processor. The PIC24 will read the 8-bit DIP switch and transmit the value back to us as an I2C packet to be displayed on the analyzer. Before we can start communications, we need to know the address of the PIC24 I2C slave device. This is set by the firmware and if we look at the VSM Studio source code, we'll see the address is configured to be C0. Next, we need to press the play button to start the simulation running. To write the value 5F to the LED display, we need to send an I2C packet to the PIC24 processor. The I2C processor will contain a start bit followed by the address, followed by the data, and then terminated with a stop bit using standard I2C syntax for this. To send the sequence, we simply press the Q button. As we are the master device, this will transmit the packet straight away and we'll see the data on the 7 segment LED display. The data monitoring section of the analyzer will also show the transmitted sequence, which can be expanded as required. We can also perform a read request by entering the correct sequence in exactly the same way. We can have stored sequences for future use by adding them to the predefined sequence list. Here in our predefined sequence list, we have the correct I2C packet to ask the PIC24 processor to read the value of the 8-bit DIP switch and send it back to us. Of course, the address of the PIC24, because it is a read, becomes C1. We go ahead and select the packet, press Q to send it to the PIC24, and it responds with the packet address C1, and the data will be F0, which corresponds with our 8-bit DIP switch.